What the fuck is wrong with you? We're in the year 2020. Medical science is as advanced as it's ever been. Life expectancy is through the roof. We're living longer. We're strong because our food is strong. We inject that shit with so much steroids. We start to get a little bit of a pump every time we eat chicken. You never go full retard. And I think we've gone full retard. This is why I always think if an alien life form comes in from a foreign planet and they see us, they might not even want to take us over. They might see us as trash. They might see us as peons. We're not even worth conquering as a race. Muck bang. We're given life for approximately 79 years, assuming you're not living in a third world country and you choose to waste it on muck bang. You are taking years from your life every single time you decide to carbo load every single time you decide to load up on this ridiculous amount of food today is the debut episode of why wednesday it's wednesday and we're asking why i want to fucking die As usual, the merch is available in the link below. If you guys look at the description section, you'll be able to check out and buy the merch. So we're gonna talk a little bit and we're gonna ask the question why when it comes to muck bang. Now, if you're not familiar with this, it's a relatively new as of 2010 concept that started in South Korea where people decide to binge eat muck and bang. Muck apparently means eat a copious amount of food and bang in some sort of way translates to broadcast. So you're broadcasting the eating. Now, of course, the problems with this are logical. You're taking in thousands of calories of McDonald's, of Burger King, of Kentucky Fried Chicken, of seafood, of gross giant seafood, and you're doing it on film for the world to see. Apparently, some people are uh, fetishists when it comes to this sort of shit. So there are porn sites dedicated to these obese, morbidly fat women that are eating this copious amounts of food and gross people paying them. What are you fucking retarded? I'm talking to you as humanity. What have you done with what we were given? We started off as nothing. We went to the moon. We're in space. Our cell phones are a modern marvel and we decide to waste that with muck. Bang. Just look at this shit. Look at this gross Look at this gross, insignificant piece of shit right now, shoving, shoving that food in its face. Imagine yourself, have a little bit of a thought experiment. Imagine you're an alien race. You decided to travel and traverse millions of light years in order to come to this godforsaken planet. And the first impression you get is this, this rotund, this animalistic, this gross gorger on this fucking palate of food. Not only is this gluttony, and this is against everything Christ ever stood for. But this is also terrible. This is terrible for your body. You're taking in thousands of calories, of which I can almost guarantee you, you are not projecting those calories in a healthy way. You're not working out. You're not running marathons. You're eating the entirety of the menu of McDonald's. And then you're going to go and you're going to pass out on the couch until you wake up. And then you do the same thing, but this time with Burger King. You're fucking gross. You're gross. You're disgusting. And the fact that people watch this and like it and promote it, is sacrilege. It's almost guaranteed that if you're looking at a mukbang channel, they've had a breakdown video guaranteed because it rakes in the views. It rakes in those sweet, sweet views. And you know what? I don't think views are worth your life. You're fucking disgusting. You look at all these articles that have come out about the side effects of mukbang as if they didn't know it was coming. They didn't see this coming. It reminds me of Morgan Spurlock when he made Super Size Me and everybody was freaking out because they're like, oh shit, man, if I eat McDonald's, I'm gonna get fat. And then you think for less than a second and you realize, oh, wait a second, he was eating McDonald's three times a day, every single day for 30 days. Of course, his calories are going to shoot through the roof. Of course, he's going to have heart palpitations and heart issues. As a matter of fact, this guy's a bitch. He couldn't even eat one supersized Whopper meal. The first time he ate it, he threw it up. And even that is not as bad as mukbang. You have this gross Big Mac, which is, by the way, the worst thing to have in the menu. You have this supersized soda. You have the extra large fries with just a, just a nice hint of salt just to make sure that your grandmother rolls in her stupid grave. And even that is not as bad as mukbang because that's not even an appetizer for these mukbang creeps, all right? That's not even an appardiche for these fucking mukbang losers. They're eating the entirety of the menu and they're doing it on camera, which is the worst part because not only 
are you inflicting all this damage on yourself, but you're also subjecting people to watch this. And because of the laws of probability, we have 8 billion people on the planet, which means guaranteed you're going to have some sickos. You're going to have some people that are going to throw some tokens at you. Hey girl, have a token. Eat one more fry. Wait, wait, wait. Don't wipe your mouth. You should be ashamed. You're worse than a magician. You're worse than a close-up magician at a restaurant. You're worse than a close-up magician at Denny's while I'm trying to eat my moons over hammy and you're trying to show me what a sponge balls trick. Are you fucking stupid? We don't come here because we want to. We come here because it's the only place that's open. And mukbang is tied to this whole ASMR bullshit. And the, this weird, oh, I got tingles because of the sound. That's an upcoming video. I can't, I don't even know. But apparently people like the sound. They like the sound of the food that's entering your gross palate. They like to see you chew the Snickers ice cream and see it through your teeth as it gushes out and it reminds everybody that you were an accident. Now usually blame is on the individual. Blame is on a participant. Blame is on a person that's shoving their face with food. Not me. Not me. I think in six dimensions. I think well beyond the scope of the average human. I blame the people watching. Why? Because it's reinforcement. We're increasing that behavior by actions in which you are giving them something to increase said behavior. It's gross. I blame the audience and I think the audience should be shot. <laughs> Fuck. I don't think we should put that on YouTube. I'm too Arab. I'm too Arab to say anything about uh, anyone getting shot. You know, that's fucking racist that you'll jump to that assumption. That's racist. I'm Arabic. I'm an individual just like you. What? I can't make bomb jokes? You can make bomb jokes? That's white privilege. God, I hope Bernie wins. I hope Bernie wins so they arrest all of you guys, you pieces of fucking white shit. You know, I'm a fan of South Korea. I'm a huge fan of your horror movies. I like your women. I like, uh, that's about it. I don't like your fucking music, that's for sure. But I like a lot about South Korea. And yet you give us this. You give us this as a society. This is where I think the government should actually step in. And I hope Trump wins because he'll regulate this shit. Trump's the type of dude to be like, what the fuck is this? This is gross. This is nasty. I'm gonna make it illegal. If I've done anything with this video, it's hopefully enlighten you on this gross subject. It's to ask why. If somebody knows why, please leave it in the description below. I've read articles and all these articles are gross. They're negligent. They're irresponsible because they're promoting the lifestyle and saying, oh, it's an escapism. It's just an escapism. You look at it and you say, hmm, wow, that's interesting. No, we shouldn't do that. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh boy. I hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys learned something from this. I'm going to go and figure out different ways to uh, honestly jog harder. Because whereas these people are injecting negativity in their lives, I'm injecting positivity. I'm here doing push-ups. I'm here doing sit-ups. All right, I'm being quarantined, but I'm not quarantining my body. I could crush stones with my thighs. So that's the video. I'm going to go figure out different ways to use a, a brush and a, a, a hair dryer. A hair dryer to stop the Mormons. You know who you are. Bitch. Stupid ass dumbass. Lens looking bitch. Stupid. Yeah, you wide, huh? You wide. You definitely wide. 16 millimeter ass bitch. Manual focus ass bitch. Dirty ass lens ass bitch. If you've stuck to this part of the video, by the way, I commend you. Boy, I commend you. Please move on to other things.